My friends, welcome back! Um, it's just after the Breed Wars, I didn't feel like stopping, and it's been great, guys. Episode 80 was, a, was amazing, the Breed Wars absolutely was a great finale for, for episode 80. Damn, guys. Episode 80. Shit, and this is episode 81. And we are faced with, with something that is uh, greater than ourselves. We're faced with something that's going to end very badly. And I've queued up a crap ton of armies. And we're going to be queuing up a lot, a lot more. Here we go. We've got some uh, protection offers now coming in. Though they're vessels. I'm not going to be worrying about integrating them anymore. You can see it like this. All of our vessels, all of our allies, all of our subjects are going in with us. In the Borg Collective Wars. Uh, diplomats, yeah, you know, enslaving this deposit, we don't care about you, go away. A uh, murder migration treaty has been broken with Fendoma states. Do we actually care about that? No, not really. They, um, they've, they've found themselves now a lot weaker. They might not approve. Uh, part of the, uh, they're a member of the Stella Pack, and they're part of the coalition. So the Klingons have been, uh, have been having a, uh, a Stella Pack. Interesting. Hmm. Can we do... Are you actually... Are you a part of the Federation? If a migration treaty, you're part of the coalition, but not with us. So, eventually they will go back to their own ways, which is not as bad. I would have liked to see them joining our coalition, but... Oh well. Some things aren't just... Well, they're not meant to be. And that's fine. It is fine. Let us, all of this, now okay, the Dominion has been starting to break because they don't trust us. And I can't blame them. But um, they should remember they are very much weaker than us. We haven't been very Federation-like. Uh, I agree. Let's uh, speed up the game here till, uh, till a bit lighter speed. Let's get rid of all of these dumb messages so we don't... Hey, I don't care that they break like research agreements. It's not like... They bring anything to the table. I think it's a good thing that we are stop. What the hell happened over here? Why are you eating the Kardashian? <laughs> Why? I don't. Did this makes little sense? These guys are very aggressive. Federation members, they are members, you know, and they have been expanding like crazy. You know, it's actually quite funny, funny that they are. They are very loyal. I, I, I like them being loyal. I would, yourself. Think for yourself. Uh, the others just don't expand as much as, um, as the others. Let's form a research agreement with you. Why not? How are you doing? Uh, um, inferior, overwhelming fleet power. Yeah, you do frighten me. What do you have? Oh, shit, look at First Federation. It's 213,000, 215,000, 192,000, 217,000, 201,000, 174,000. <laughs> That's so sick. And then they have like these, these tiny, tiny ass armies. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I like that. I truly do. Now we need to uh, sell some more of these alloys. And uh, yeah, we're all all in about uh, getting more population. Uh, let's be very careful here that we don't go over. We have still have a lot lot of population to go. There we go. That's the f well, one more is now done, and uh, we're somewhere getting to close uh, smaller numbers. Which is uh, interesting. Two. Just one. Oh, and this has a lot again. Uh, market, let's... Um... There we go. A bit more money. And this will probably boost the economy up even higher. New technology. The industries have now increased. Uh, field harvesting. What does this do? I do not particularly know. A new mining technology exploiting the... Piezoelectric properties of the lithium crystals? Or we'll just 
you go go for better weapons let's do that actually better uh, engines i would like to see what changes here 712 oh yeah yeah i really am enjoying the uh uh oh finally that's about time welcome to the federation hey coalition offer interesting so they are building up these are now done uh can we not welcome you to earth now we have a lot of houses here that we're not filling up you know what let's just do that one no nobody actually cares about that they, they, they won't be pissed and we have a vacillation a vacillation request from these guys so yeah the Klingons are doing well can we do something with you so let's see Mm. Shall we open borders with the Klingons? You know, they might like that. Uh, yeah, I don't really see anything else that we can do for this. Has a centerpiece of the uh, brothel. Oh, interesting. Okay, what's this? Uh, not for us. They broke that. We open borders and that's done. Finally, we don't we don't care about, it. especially not the Dominion. <laughs> what the hell can the Dominion do? I I would really I would die laughing if they would declare war upon me. Let's hope they don't declare war on me. I really like living a, a lot. So let's build more armies. And in all honesty, guys, I don't care which one I'm actually taking. We're just boosting up a lot of them. Like I said, I want to be prepared for the Borg. And that's all that matters to me at the moment. There we go. That's also filled out. Research agree. And we're going through these numbers quite, quite fast. There we go. Every month we can get more. And this is definitely going to be lagging up my game quite a bit. But it's worth it. It is worth it. I hope. Ah, uh, there we go. That's also the end of that. Uh, not for us. Kardashian and Screen Republics. Why not? So that continues as well. And we're almost there. We need to find something to do with our influence. I kind of don't want to waste it away. It, it just goes against everything that we stand for, right? right can we get another fleet we are so so much in the plus with our energy as well as uh, officers and stuff like that what we just need more is uh, dilithium crystals how many times can you misclick that is a good question. So, um, yeah, I kind of think that we want another army. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's still ships being constructed. Let's close the armies down. So we don't uh, get annoyed by that. When I start moving these armies, I will do that off camera. <laughs> you can imagine, right? You can imagine that, um, you know... A hundred armies. You know, armies for me could be just a number. Uh, the ships, maybe they should do something with that. Just make the game less heavy. I think that would definitely increase playability for a lot of people that actually are unable to play the game because it just takes too bloody long to load up. Um, okay, what's what's the matter with all of you? These guys are just eh, slightly annoying. They're, they're tiny. So, are we able to get, let's see, diplomatic map mode? Who is, like, the Ferengi? The FCA is watching. <laughs> the FCA is watching you. What I'm looking for is people that could be part of our revoke support. No, 
No, I don't want to do that to the Kardashians. We don't care about that. Ah, uh, yeah. Liberation. Liberation, they say. Yeah, that's never going to happen. We know that. Uh, how about you guys? Are we able to invite... Let's, let's keep the game running. Are we able to invite people to our coalition? But these guys definitely not. Hey, you got your own problems, mate. Uh, fleet conscription. Let's keep that going. Let's go with the research grants. And... Yeah, I don't care for the others. I don't. And I don't want to waste all of that. How about you? According to my observations. Yeah, okay. I'm glad that you're not saying 011100 something anymore. That was so annoying. I'm actually feeling that the uh, the galaxy is starting to be, you know, less a friendly place. They are actually in a subjugational war, and they have been doing really well for themselves. And you know, let's be honest here. I don't generally care. Kick from the coalition. That was not. Do I don't. I think we reached the uh, the end in terms of members. The Bream, they did what? As Joy the Golden Concord. Interesting. Now that would be interesting. Coalition invitation made by the Zindi Council towards the Breen. The Breen Confederacy joined the Golden Concord. So you're now in here apparently. Yes, you are. Oh, that's interesting. I would have liked to see. You know, the Romulans in here, as well as the Klingons. That would have been interesting against the Borg. Uh, but it is what it is. The Borg will come again. Yes, you will come again. I'm sure you do. So, in terms of uh, civilian ships, we can close that down. Oh, boy, yeah, that is definitely frightening. I think we should not build any more troops. Uh, then I don't think that's going to be holding up against, you know my computer technology this can go this can go what kind of technology were telekinesis armies that is interesting district cost terraforming cost uh, deluxe uh, restaurants let's take that 8k shit that's really nice i think um what we'll do is we're not going to be integrating more vessels okay more people we, we don't need that we should get ready. And there's a ship here. So shield penetration, armor damage. Shield penetration, armor damage. Shield penetration, armor damage. So it is definitely all about armor damage. Is there a way for us? And let's start off with the uh, strongest possible ships. To, to get more armor damage oh this is bad yeah guys we're all definitely don't want modular phases since they have negative 12 percent i'm not sure about this this could be very rough How about you? Shield and hull damage. And right now they're just shields and some other stuff. The red I need. I would really like to see more armor damage. Like these. Actual, yeah, it's it's armor damage, shield damage not so much, armor penetration and hull damage. Yeah, I kind of don't need those. So, uh, I, I guess it's fine. Now, shields is not just going to do a lot for us. But just getting armor, no, I, I think in, in we, we can't change as much to our fleet as we hope. I 
I think it's uh, it's fine. You know what? Why not? We are the Federation. These are our weapons. It's it is what it is. Oh God. And um, do we go in from here? You know, I want to get control over transwarp conduits. A as bloody P. So getting in here. And this will bring us over here. This will bring us... I think close to this, of course. And where this will lead, I do not know. This will bring us over here as well. Yeah, we need to get to these unit complexes. And there is transwarp conduits, I guess. Yeah, there's one over here. They do not have the... The wormhole to bait jaw. You're not fighting the Borg. The Borg currently is fighting the Karaman. So where are you? So that's this. Yeah, you know what? Uh, do we use that? Do we use that to get this territory out of the way? Without knowing where their fleets are, it is going to be very dangerous not to have the fleets in a one set position. And we should. And I'm thinking about... Like over here. I'm going to upgrade the star base. And the reason for it is I want crew quarters. Uh, we need a base over here. That's just simple as that. And we are going to be moving all of our fleets over here. And it's risky. It is very risky. But I'm hoping that as soon as we get to those planets. All of their fleets are just going to go towards us. If we can get to be single fleets instead of all of their fleets, and I don't think that's going to happen, we'll probably see some minor fleets, pockets, going left, right, and center. But uh, our main goal is the unit complexes. And then we spread out from there. Once we take all of this, it's all about the systems. And they got level 2, you know, stations, so... They definitely are falling behind. Oh, man. These armies are going to have a very, very rough time. I can promise you and guarantee it. And the Dreadnought. That is definitely shit that I'm very, very worried about. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so we'll wait for the uh, the next uh, galactic thing. Or oh, actually, nah. Nah. We are waiting for this station to grow. And perhaps we should just go and... Start sending you all over here. Uh, this way, let's take a look. So they go in there. There is a base there. This is sight. Look at this. This is just... Actually, maybe we should go in from here. Maybe. Now, I'm building one. And to boldly go... Let's click this. We're going to be cancelling you. To boldly go. Now, unfortunately, I cannot send the uh, flagship. Uh, the lithium is on negative 8. So let's adjust this nurse uh, to about like, I don't know, 20. Send a scientist. Uh, go to. Okay, you're over here. Uh, is there a scientist nearby? There is one. So, Mr. K oh, actually, uh, ma'am, Carol Marcus. Research that over there. We're moving all of our fleets. It is uh, about to uh, get real. And we're going to get the Bajo systems closed. Uh, we want to get this unit complex. From there, we, um, we we will try to get all of the unit complexes ready. All of our fleets are now moving. I just don't want the Borg... It, that, oh, well, we'll lose definitely a lot of systems. I am definitely frightened about this situation. I can promise you that. 
Because eh, the Borg's big. The Borg's big, guys. It's massive. Can we declare war from in the Bajor territories? Wait, I don't know. We should go in from here. From there. From our own territory. And for now, I guess I'll leave the armies. Once we take all of this, we'll, we'll start sending the armies over here. We're going to be... We, we definitely need to focus maybe one fleet and then the second fleet, third fleet and slowly start working our way towards our own goal. I'm worried that it will not take them too long to get to our main planets and that is still, this is still our main cluster of planets. It's a lot here. This is our empire, this is our... If we lose that it's done. <laughs> Episode 100. How we lost to the Borg. <laughs> Can we imagine the title? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, allow my fleets to move, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.